Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions whatsoever and you would like to contact me then please do so. You can find all my information right below into the YouTube description box or you can come and join me into a live reading. I have a live reading every single night from 9 p.m. all the way until midnight so you can see me here for three hours answering your questions. Other than that, if you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto that subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always and greatly appreciated, and I do thank you so very much. Um, so let's begin this reading. This is a beautiful reading here on love for the sign of Aquarius. So let's go and see what's going on for you this week. We are using two different tarot decks. We're using a Halloween and a witch and we're using two different oracle decks. Halloween and witch also. So let's go for it. Let's go see my dear friends Aquarius. What is coming up for you this week? Please give me some blessings. I want some blessings for Aquarius. Please. Please remember, eh? It is a general reading. Take what's good. Leave the rest. Here we go. We're starting off over here with the moon, followed up by the hanged man. I have the queen of wands, the six of cups, the ten of swords, followed up by the four of wands. We have the chariot. We're searching. We're searching our way. We're trying to get away. Okay. All right. So there is a secret. There is a secret, all right. There's a secret going on in your life. There's a secret in your relationship. Um, I'm going to say it's somewhat of, I'm not going to say a dark secret, but I'm going to say it's a secret that is going to cause someone to be uncomfortable. Why? Nah, secrets, if they're not really told what they are, usually they're not all that positive. It can range from emotions all the way to something that's more serious. In this case, I'm not seeing anything oof, all that serious. I'm not seeing anything that is going to break up the relationship. So that is a really good news. Um, the secrets is coming over here from the moon card. So um, I feel like there's something, there is something that is hidden either inside of your partner, inside of you that it just does not want to be revealed. And if it is revealed, we have a chance at for the tower. That being said, it is never going to be said. It is going to remain hidden. Therefore, you are going to avoid this tower card. So whatever they are hiding, they will always hide. That being said, I find that the relationship is somewhat stagnant. I don't feel like anything is much changing. We're not really going up. We're not planning on getting married or we're not, you know, we're not making any big plans, but we're not making any, you know, plans to retrograde neither. I feel as though there's pain. I feel like there's pain into this relationship. There's some sadness into the relationship. I feel like this relationship is, it's in need of a rejuvenation cure. It's in need of a new path, a new way to see things, a new perspective. We need to get rid of this hurt. We need to get rid of it. I feel like the secret that is coming here has to do with this pain. I feel like you're being somewhat betrayed. I feel like you're being backstabbed by your partner and this is what the story is all about. This is why it is hidden. I do not believe you're ever going to find out about it, which is also staying within the secrets. So, I know, I know that you feel and I know that you are doubtful. I know that you have some trust issues and I understand that because I know and I see what is going on over here. Um, but it's really important. I feel like whatever happened here has happened. Uh, the emotions are there, but I feel like it's into the past. I feel like now it is moving into the past so we no longer have to think about it. I do not see it influencing the energy of the couple to come. What I am seeing is that there's a necessity to heal. 
Also, uh, a little bit of a look back into the past, I feel. Sometimes, you know, we always say you need to look to the right here, the right now. This is where it happens, and it's absolutely truth. But it's really important to take a little look into the past also sometimes to just kind of figure out why we're feeling like this or why did this come upon the situation. Often, our answers are there. So this is about seeking those answers so you can find your emotional freedom, so you can release yourself is what we're looking for this week. So you can find those new possibilities within the relationship again, so you can gain back your power, so you can start moving into the same direction instead of almost going at a fork into the road. So um, let me go and take some clarification cards out over here. Let's go see what Spirit has to say about all of this, about what is going on. Spirit, please do enlighten us. Please do give us that enlightenment on what is going on over here for, oh la la, for Aquarius. What is going on? Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which, by the way, I do have to say that we're really, really working on it. Okay, so the good news that is coming out here is I feel that I feel that you're really working on this. I feel like your partner is going to work on this. I feel like you're going to be going into the right direction. Um, and I, I feel, I even feel that you might even end up going on to um, a little bit of a little uh, getaway together and you know to get rid of this energy to start anew to just turn that page but turn it into the beautiful so I feel like something something special that you guys have not done in quite some time is going to be onto the menu so um, that is to look forward to I feel again I have to tell you that whatever has been taken whatever emotions are lying here in secret are things of the past so no need to worry about them Let's go and see over here what this oracle would like to tell us. What is going on? Please do. Please do tell me what is going on. Please, Spirit, give me some information. Give me some guidance. Aquarius needs some guidance, please. Guidance. The future. Let's not look at the future with a veil. Let's not look at it trying to spy through it. Meaning, let's not look into the future and try and see what's going on. Let's look at the right here, at the right now. The future will come when it does come. Let's not create ourselves any illusions, neither about the future. One day at a time is what Spirit is saying right here. This is about how the eternal cycle begins here so you're getting into a cycle you're getting into a good cycle and this cycle is going to continue so that is very good news coming from spirit it's bringing in some beauty it's bringing in some sweetness into your life and this is what we all want is it not so let's go and see what the other oracle deck with the witches have to say to you ah oh, the witches have to talk to you about a beautiful union which is on its way yes so from all of this is going to come something quite beautiful other than that we are speaking here about your foundations that are just going to grow stronger they're going to grow into something that is strong something that is powerful something that is not to be reckoned with so this is about remaking and making stronger those beautiful foundations and getting into your power your power the couple's power your partner's power this is just an amazing reading the beginning was a little bit you know um there's some work there's some secrets going on but then we just turned to beauty look at that here we go the union card i have to show it to you again it's exciting so this does conclude your reading and what a beautiful way to conclude it who would have thought here so you know what don't give up that is what spirit is trying to tell you don't ever give up um, if you have any questions you would like to come and join me into a live reading every night 9 p.m all the way till midnight please do come and join me eastern standard time always please don't forget to click that like button that subscribe button have yourself the most fantastic and beautiful day thank you for listening and i will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.